Yeah, I had it on WrestleQuest setting again. Orsted did nothing wrong, and neither did Jack Garland. Welcome to the Live Alive stream. Rain and Corjon and Squared are here. You thought it was name, but instead in it was I, Odio. The medieval chapter uh, really became a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy, huh? He created himself, and he was better. He was way better. Also, he had he had the skibbity riz, and that turns you evil. That makes you want to destroy humanity and succeed. We had the best ending last time. You can't beat that ending. You can't beat that ending. He had a point. Even Uranus would agree if he didn't die from old. More Live Alive. The final, final chapter, we swear, honest. Truthfully. It will be the... It's, it's the last chapter now. Uranus. That's why he died. He died because Uranus... Uranus imploded and unlocked the door. The Dominion of Hate. The, the angry abode. The bad guy bodega. The hostile hovel. That's where we going. But not as as Jack Garland. The, the, the okay guy. He's okay. He's an okay guy. No quarrels about that bad guy at all. But you get to choose who, who's going to be the team leader. And the guy that does the cool stuff at the end. I, I gotta go with Archaeology Kid. The douchebag dun dungeon, if you will. Yes. I gotta go with Archaeology Kid. He's an upstanding guy. He's just cowboy. He doesn't want to be in this mess. He just wanted to shoot guys. Do Ninten? Does Ninten do anything really cool? Because I did Cowboy before, and I just really like Cowboy's interaction with the end of the game. But does, does Inten, Ninten do anything cool? Lord of Kirby says hi. Karjan Bet says, I like Caveman. Wasn't it like the end of, um... The original SNES one, if you if you pick the caveman, he just goes, LOVE! And in this case, he'll just go, I Do Orsted. I would love to do Orsted again. Or Cube. I'll, I'll, all the, well, I don't want to use Cube for the end of the game. And also, there's another reason why I'm going to go with Archaeology Kids, because he has that stupid hide-and-seek thing. Pogo's ending. Ninten is Ninten. Well, Ninten's going to be on the team no matter what, so... And I'm going with the Archaeology Kid, because he's the easiest to keep. Otherwise, you have to find him like seven different locations, and then he'll join you! With his gun. Hey, mister! Besides, it's my number one chapter now, so, you know... Kid! We'll never forget you! My name's not Kid, Kid! And he shoots him. Therefore, you go to hell. From my two playthroughs I've done at this game that I've done, I did Sundown and Akira. I've only, so far, I've only done Sundown because I just like Sundown. He's got the best music. He's got the best chapter. He shoot a guy and he eat hot chip and he, and he doesn't afraid of anything. Also, he dies in his post-credit sequence. From heroes fame he flees. And he doesn't want to be famous. Whose faith in men endures, despite their sins. America. Oh, child. Now come and see. Cowboys are the knights of America. Their true design. They're kind of like paladins, except they smite with their gun.
Also, he starts at level one, so that's kind of the challenge with him, but he, but he comes the best, best damage dealer. Oh, hell, am I in Tahiti? What the hell's all this shenanigranery? He eat hot chip and not lie. It's not in his nature. Also, he drinks lots of milk. That's why he eat the hot chip. Where the hell am I? Looks like somebody died of a plague in there. Did I he just hear a chocobo? Well, I could go up the mountain and recruit somebody right away. Um, actually, I might just do that. I would rather a tank, though. I guess he could kind of suffice. I mean, yes, you were talking. Another chocobo. Shoot puppy with gun. Don't look. Bang, bang. Gotta shoot the women and the puppies. Ah, she's the leader. Man, they got some range on that hell. Huh? Huh? I don't know what I'm doing now. Guess I'm gonna shoot a puppy. The Cerberus puppies only have one head. They didn't grow their other heads yet. If st Sundown started at level one, this chapter would be impossible. I thought he did. What level is he? Oh, right. He starts at like level, level nine. Because he's cowboy and he shot people. I forgot. I think, uh, who, who starts at level one? I think Cube does, actually, because Cube doesn't really have a level. Hey, Kung Fu Man, you want to join my group? <sighs> what a relief. I'm not alone. I'm putting a team together. Ah, uh, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. I'm Yuin Zhou, a martial arts instructor, I suppose. Master of Punch and Guy. I'm Master of Shooting Guy. By the way, where are we? Cube is seven, Masaro is two. Oh, you don't know either. I see. I'm not getting Cube right away, but I mean, I'm going to pick up his item. Hmm. Well, I doubt we'll find any answers here. Want to look around together? Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Huh, a Brian. I knew a guy named Brian. Said something about my mother's teats. And I shot him. I think it was the same guy, kind of blurring all together now. I think it's around here. The battery for Cube. It's up on this mountain, ain't it? Is it this? Funny looking metal something or other. Yeah, metal box. This this is this is the battery. This is Cube's battery. The 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 cowboy calls it a metal box. I think the kung fu also calls it a metal box. But if you had like Akira or uh, I think Masaru also notices it's some kind of battery. But batteries didn't exist in the Wild West, so. And Pogo just calls it, huh? Because he, obviously he unga. He ain't gonna know what it is. I do like that. I do like that, that nature of it, though. That, uh. Wow, these robots are resistant to bullets. But they're weak to hollow points. Akira knows it's a battery full on, but doesn't know what it would do. Because he's the closest to Cube's era. Um, maybe we shouldn't fight these guys just yet. We got two damage dealers. And no tank or healer. I might... Uh, I don't want to pick up the team I'm going to use right away, but we might pick up Oonga Boonga as a, a tank. 
and then pick up Cube as the healer, and we'll do it that way. Leave Masaru for a little bit. You're gonna be spending time in this chapter if you want the real ending. I think this is the Ungabunga dungeon over here. In that ice up there? I think that's the, the caveman dungeon. There's also the Kung Fu dungeon in this area. He's the closest. I think Battery might have been a way newer model, so I don't think it would be a Battery for a robot. Got too many enemies here. Can you do any Kung Fu about this? Shooting demons in the head. Okay, do we have any AoEs on him? I mean, we have Wise Fox. We, we got break his back, make him home battle. You missed. I used not hearing you kung fu. Break his back. Yes. He's resistant to kung fu. He's the master of it. Your sound attack missed because I covered my ears. You know what? I, we didn't get to see enough of this fire attack. I'll show you my gun -fu. Definitely want to level up the, level up the archaeology kid. He learns new ways to shoot gun. His last attack is basically a Gatling gun, but with a pistol. Gun Fu. Gung Fu. So, I'm gonna go pick up Oonga Bunga. He's at the uh, secret area where all the bomb grass is. He's hiding out there. And Cube is inside the castle. Which I'm gonna be going there to loot anyway. I like how every attack is just more bullets. He has gun, and he has more gun. The hell? That's supposed to kill a man. I, I kind of want to get the goblin out of here. Kill the goblin. How does hell? Uh, how does Hollow Point work against Kung Fu? Now stop being a wimpy baby. Like He's just getting kicked in the face. Instead of two bullets, he uses three, then four, then five, then sixteen. Right. Yet, uh, don't question it too hard. Don't question it too hard. I think these enemies evolve as you get higher in level two. So we got Kung Fu and Goblins right now, because we're low leveled. I'm still not quite, quite, quite sure what a Joshua tree is and why we need to use its seeds instead of like its fruit or something. The secret area should be down here somewhere. Enough with the Kung Fu! Like that. Yeah, he loved that. He's like, shoot me, Daddy, one more time. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. Yes. We're back to breaking backs as usual. Resist that, you mangy varmint! Unga Bunga will be great because Unga Bunga is level 16. He'll be great for the party. What did I just walk into? A cowboy shooting a demon with a gun. Did that guy hit his head or something? 
where, where, where is he? Oh, I see him. Huh? Oh, Gal scared of you! Not Sabin! Mostly Chocobo shooting cat yokai and Cerberus puppies. Look! Unga bunga, we can see your hair. Grass does not wear a Naruto headband. Ah! Ah! If he goes I anymore, I think you'd be gooning in the grass. Oh, he's gooning! If Lei is your heroine, Pogo will join without a fight. Yeah, yeah, he wants to fight now. Bunga wants to fight! It's a one on one battle. Help, well, time to show this caveman what a gun is! Wow, uh, he's, he's fast. He's fast! Technology! <laughs> Unga, Unga is resistant to gun! He is very resistant to gun! Don't let him get close. Obviously, because... Is he actually level 16? I think he might be. I think I made a bad choice. Whatever level you had him at when the chapter ended. This might be a problem, then. Cowboy is not strong enough for this. And he can't run now. <laughs> if you stand too close, he might do the guest in you. Oh, the bing bang boom attack, you mean. Double shot might be my best bet. Because it hits twice. <laughs> if I get killed by Unga, we'll go get Masaru. Masaru doesn't want to fight people with gun. You could have at least level adjusted this guy. Oh, we could use the Fuji feather and uh, bottle gourd on him. I learned that off a witch doctor. All right, let's let's try these consumables. They were pretty good against. Straybo. If we could poison him, that would be great, because he has massive HP. If only we had Cola Bottle. That's why. I, that's another reason why I want Caveman, because he has the Cola Bottle. I did this with the Sundown. I just threw random bullshit at him. The Moon Knight approach. Look, we got him at half health, so he could probably do this. It's just going to take a little while. As long as he just keeps shouting. Uh-oh. Ah, hell! Ouch! Caveman hurt! He's resistant to gun, and he hurt! Well, at least I still have Kung Fu on my side. I'm gonna go get Masaru as the tank. Respect Pogo's range. Or he will fly huge boom on you. You know what else who I could pick up? Probably Ninja. But I have to fight Ninja too, but he and he's gonna be higher level as well. Who would win? A literal gun or a bone? Apparently gun! 
Level 16 bone versus level 9 gun. Go get Masaru in the armor. Yeah. Yeah, that'll help. I wanted to do the people that weren't going to be in my main party at first. So I could uh, work on the main team I was going to use through the rest of the game and finish their dungeons. Why is everything resistant to gun around here? A little pissed off. That is true, this guy is only wearing, like, a jacket. Why? Why do you get to do that? I don't get to do that. This is one of those ice slugs from the mountains. What are they doing here? Yes. Think you're all fancy with your, your kung fu magic and your five elements monk? He's wearing a very nice coat, but not giant metal armor. And he's wearing a cowboy hat and not a fedora. He's not filled with archaeology. He's not even wearing any green. Wait a second, that's not the castle. Seat of the Betrayer, it's just dots. I think I had to go up the road more. The great thing about Masaru is, isn't his dungeon tuned to his level? Because he starts out really weak and he grabs his item before anything happens in, in the, the area? I think that's how it works. So Masaru, we could do his dungeon right away. I foregore. Well, you better start membering. His dungeon doesn't have any encounters until you get the weapon. There's a big dungeon in this town, too. It's the ninja dungeon. You have to fight a boss before entering it. I forget where that is, actually. Masaru should be in the jail, if I remember. Oh no, knights! Chrono legionaries! Bang bang. It's near the mountain entrance. Okay! These guys hurt! I wonder if I could break their backs and make them homebell. It's all up to you, Kung Fu. You're resistant to swords. Respect everyone's range, apparently. Look, they're, they're trying to smite. Okay, you know what? That kind of hurts him, too. AoE heal? Um, no, not really. Peach bun. Ah. Oh, the peach bun. Oh, yes. Knight versus guy with gun. Knight wins. Dude, how'd he shoot his sword? Another reason why I like cowboy is because... Watching Cowboy fight knights and demons and kung fu men with his shoot fu. <laughs> At least Caveman makes a little bit of sense. Caveman could be like Barbarian. This is an artificer. Triple twist. Oh. Oh. I realized the new technique. If I pulled the trigger three times, I could shoot more bullet. Uh, Defender. I wonder if I can use that with my equipment. 
Nope, it's not a gun. It's Masaru! Why is he training in the basement? Of a castle. That he just kind of showed up in. Hell yeah! And he's just like, hell yeah! Alright! Oh yeah! Yeah, I feel the spice! Down here in the dungeon! There's a man in, in a cave training to take everything away from you. He's probably Masaru. Who's there? Not a cowboy and a kung fu man. Hmm. Because that would be silly. All jokes aside, a bullet should be able to pierce the armor of a medieval knight. Are you sure? I don't know. It is solid steel, and they're not like dime store either. Last thing I expected to see in the castle was if, a cowboy. If the basement is free of random encounters and the Chrono Legionaries would snap them in half, it kind of makes sense. I'd rather not go up against a gun. I'm scared again. Ah, should tell you my name. It's Masaru. I'm a monkey. Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you don't belong here. Same as me. Steel is harder than lead. Then just use steel bullets. How's about <laughs> yeah, if you want them to fly the real... Together. If you want them to fly, like, two feet. Okay, I could use... I could uh. use a wrestler. Yeah! Totally could have named him Muchacho Man. But we got Masaru. He's got, like, no equipment. Dude, wear a porcelain bowl. Or, wear a porcelain bowl on your head. Um, he could use a peacemaker in his main hand, or secondary, for speed. Put some clothes on, you weirdo. Wheeling boots. Let's make him fast. He fast boy. I don't have any of the good gear yet. Masaru is totally fair for not wanting to fight a man who will sh shoot him in point-blank range. How much did this, this defender do? What the defender doing? He can't even use the defender. Oh, wait. Um... You know what? He is going to be the tank, so might as well. Masaru hit the books before the remake. The Phantom Rider! I heard about this guy. You shoot him three times in the head with a gun. Okay, never mind. In the original, he had an IQ of 20. Well, uh, you know, he's a martial artist. He boxes, he wrestles. So, yeah, that's, that would cause some brain damage. Okay. Suplex! Ha! Crush! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Who's next? That's how pathetic he is. The encounters are based off the average level of your party. Grabbing Pogo too soon will make you go splat. Well, it's a good thing we have low level team right now, then. Sure, I'll grab Cube. I'm here. We're looting the place. I'll grab Cube. He could be the team healer for a little while until Ninten gets in here. He's in the castle somewhere. I have these guys understand what this metal box is, but I feel like it would be good for something. Nintendo Live Alive Real. I thought he... I, I was about to say, I thought he shows up here in the balcony, and he does. Round contraption is unlike anything you've seen before. It appears to be made of metal. Litter, how did How did he lose his battery... It fell off in the mountain, and he ended up on the castle. You need to head to the treasure room after you loot the throne room and the others near it. 
Robot, get! Yeah. Sure, I'll take him. ODO ripped it out. Oh, that's kind of rude. But well, we got Clank! From the number two. I, I like this, this setup. It's number one and number two, and number one and number two. The best chapters and the worst chapters, in my personal opinion, in the same team. Where's Ratchet? Um, Odio stole him. You gotta get him back. What's a bear doing in the castle? Okay, this is too peck and silly. Bro, what is up with Kung Fu? There's nothing up with that Kung Fu. That Kung Fu's doing great. I want to suplex the bear. I want to suplex the bear. You're too kind. Wow, nice heal. Suplex! That's the second worst. Um, oh wait, no, that was Ninja. Never mind. Who's next? Who's next? Kung Fu was like my third worst. To be fair, I wasn't taking into account the strength of the metals, just thousands of years of advancements. Want to impress me? Suplex a train. Got some divine armor? Well, that's that should go on Masaru, shouldn't it? Beef up that defense. Amethyst shield. A sword of marvels. Apparently there's more than one of those things. You can't use swords. Or shields, really. I can't even use a shield. A bill hook. It's not as good as an iron fist, apparently. He's got his scroll of martial secrets here. He needs the special attack nuke. He could offhand a sword of marvels for speed. Um, yeah, what are you going to wear, robot? You, you can't really hold a lot. Here, you have a sword of marvels. Enjoy. And he doesn't level up like everybody else. We need robot parts for him. He ain't gonna be around too long to get a lot of robot parts, though. I, I used him as the healer last time. Sort of Marvels doesn't even go in the sword slot. Unless you're Jack. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on here. Boy, that is a lot of things. Get rid of the ones right next to us. Good thing we have infinite ammo on like Final Fantasy XI. There was so much wrong with that game. They're fire resistant. But what about water? Water resistant. What about breaking their back and making them home bell? Damn it. Good job, Masaru. It's not even your turn yet. Break backs. Don't mind us, we're just taking some, uh, some damage of the poison variety. Ugh. 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 Tahiti. Final Fantasy III did that with arrows, too. Oh. Good job, Masaru. Now your legs don't work. Good job, Kung Fu guy. Now your legs don't work. 
I will repair your body. I have replaced your legs with tank treads. Five? I'm pretty sure five didn't, but I don't remember a whole lot of five. Stop! Stop! This is illegal, you know. What kind of AoEs do we got going on here with Masaru? Aloha Slap, and they're weak to it. Sumo! Okay, bye, cowboy. Oh, that heals him, too. Good. See you later, Spice Cowboy. I'm pretty sure he still gets experience points. The Kung Fu guy ended up all the way over here. This is an awful lot of enemies to throw at us. We got this. We got this. We got the healer and the nuke. We'll be fine. What happened to your, uh... Your ultimate... Martial art technique guy. That one. You use it once in the final boss, and then you don't have it. Great. Ah! Oh. Ah! Whirlwind's dismay. And we got some magic wood. Ah, I feel some magic wood. Sacred Silver Armor. Can you wear that? Yes, you can. Special Attack way up. Perfect for him. His, his gun uses Special Attack, right? Or is, or is it Attack? Because if not, I'm going to put it on Kung Fu instead. Parasite Sword. A unicorn horn. It's either special or speed. I don't see I don't see why it would be speed. But unicorn horn is definitely special damage. And a lot of it. Also, unicorn quota has been met. Grabbed onto the unicorn's horn. Parasite Sword gives a lot of resistances, but it also steals health, I believe. Of course, he can't use gun. There's nobody in this team that could use sword on the main hand. Weakens the wielder to strengthen itself and inflict more damage. Yeah. Unless. You know what? Oh wait, it lowers special attack. It lowers special attack. So, Masaru. You can check those in the menu when you press X. I'm guessing under abilities. I'm pressing X and all the other buttons, and it's not doing anything. It's not showing me no one equipment. Oh, that just shows me my resistances and such. Unless you're talking about Parasite Sword. 
Makes them resistant to punch, kick, projectile, slashing, bludgeoning, uh, binding, aerial, and magic. Pretty good for a tank. I thought you were talking about that the abilities would show me what they scale best with. Alright, we got Kung Fu, we got Wrestler. We should do Wrestler's Dungeon immediately. Get him his best weapon. Get some good armor. There's some good treasure chests in there. How many special bosses are in this area? I know of two. One right before the final boss, and the one where you run away a hundred times. And there's the one that you fight if you don't get out of the cowboy chapter fast enough. Oh, good. AoE. Five. Well, we got our first multi-hit. I need to change this, uh... This arrangement. Uh, suplex a fairy, why not? Entomophilia, love of insects. Suplex! One is in Cube's dungeon. Oh, right, him. One is in Pogo's if you know where to look. And I don't remember how to look. Who's next? Masaru doesn't learn a lot of abilities because he, he's the blue mage. He'll learn abilities eventually. He catches up with uh, all the other ones that you haven't captured, and then he learns a special one. I walk into a man suplexing a love of fairies. Oh, okay, here it is, yeah. Ah, hell, it's robots again. I just want to shoot them so much. At least we got a dedicated healer this time. And a tank. Okay, why are you shooting them three times? Resistant. But shooting them from behind your back makes them weak. Okay, that's not the best thing. Ah, oh, hell, this reminds me. Oh. One for running away 100 times. One is in sundowns if you run out the timer. Yeah, I know that one. And headhunter from Odeo. <laughs> Using a cannon on the marsh uh, on the, the wrestler man. See what else? Are, uh, is your name Jerry? There. His name might be Jerry. Okay then. Okay then. You shot me. Good. Good job. <laughs> and I gotta get him in there. Gotta get him in there for the big heal. It's weak to anything else. I can't escape this flame. Oh, the cowboy is knocked out over there. I thought he was just low on HP. Goodbye. Let's try tornado press. Yeah, no, he did. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. The healer is busy. The DPS didn't stack up. Okay, he's less fine. The cowpoke taking a dirt nap. Do not disturb. Yeah, time for the madness. 
the Max Madness. This is all a level up, Masaru. Spring loaded punch gun, you say? Everybody heals up at the end anyway. Spring loaded punch gun. One of those old school gizmos that shoots a boxing glove. Cube's got a new weapon. He's the only one that can use robot parts. I'm gonna save. I don't want to save over Jack Garland being awesome. The trial of power demands warriors. The strong alone may pass. Now prove your worth. I'm also riding an eel. Deal with it. And I'm a birdman. Apophisphilio. Does that mean shoot me in the face with a gun, Daddy? No. You shall be and hey, he's targeting our healer! Right through our ranks! Is that a jetpack eel rider? Maybe. He's not weak to that. Resistant? Why is he resistant to ice and fire? He's weak to kick. So I gotta get closer to kick him in the face. Let's see. This paralyzes. Cuba has a counter that just heals. Yeah. He's just attacking our healer! Which I mean, that's better than attacking the cowboy. Thanks. This guy is weak to feet. He's Quentin Tarantino. Rolling wheel kick. You can spiral me. You got abuse Jerry. Of course, Robot can't kick. I just need to get him into a good setup where uh, he's getting shot by this guy. He's resisting the wind. He's weak to fleet foot. Well, the battle is won. Robot says, stop it. I thought this would... Uh, I was hoping this paralyzed, but it doesn't look like it's going to paralyze a boss. I'm coming for you! It didn't work! No, because it's called the Desperations Kick. Really? They'll spiral me him. Why? Huh? <laughs> now steal yourself for slaughter! Well, the joke's on you. You kind of put my party into optimal position now. Good. Continue. Just like that. Okay. This is just like the perfect position to be in now. Win it! He just says spin! Get paralyzed. Hey, Masaru, you're the blue mage. How about you, like, study that attack and use it against him? Nice. I'm just going to abuse Jerry. Screw it. 
At least that worked. My strength endures. Okay then. He loves to spin. Look at him. A spinning doom for you. He even has puns for it. Masaru is like, bro, that's a sword-based attack. I can't... I, I only got hands. Well, that is his problem of having hands. Well, fine, he's resistant to it, but I'm going to hit him with elemental attacks now. You're hurting yourself for your own tiles now. Come on, this is embarrassing. Stop missing. Huh? Try his whirlwind attack. Um, that hits multiple times, but it's it's a little weak. But so is that, so granted. Masaru's doing his job as a tank, at least. Good job! You missed most of those. Abuse Jerry! Look at my butt! Yeah, we did it. I remember him being a lot easier. But I'll take the level ups. Fresh fire. Oh, four bullets, huh? Yeah! Who's next? Who's next? Look, pajama kick. There it is. Oh, right. Fighting the enemy that is weak against kicks taught me a kick. Probably easier because you had Pogo. Oh, right. Right. I had the Oonga Boonga at that point. Once you release, um, once you find a character, they don't make you go through the same BS again, do they? Did they, did they at least fix that um, quality of life problem that was in the original? Where I don't have to like solve their puzzles again if I let them go. I don't have to go back to where they are. Well, look at all those treasure chests that we can't really open because they're just like... Can't open it. You do have to return. Okay. I have to keep that in mind as I'm letting people go to put more people on the team. A set of champions wraps. The ultimate Masaru weapon. He's going to be a lot more potent now. He's still wearing a porcelain bowl on his head, but you know. Champion's wraps. Allow a fighter to strike their full strength without fear of injury. Unlocks one's true potential. Makes him resistant to most things again. The gold top knot. Keep it and don't equip it. Keep that in mind. Oh, look, it's Claustrophilia. This is brush fire. Fan the revolver. Finally, an AOE for the cowboy. Ugh. Now he's finally going to start doing damage. I quip what I please. Yeah, that whirlwind kind of sucks. Oh, no, this again. Damn it. This again? Everybody stand with the poison. They can't hurt us that way. That was the parasite sword. Oh, it's it's a cumulative thing then.
One dead fairy. <laughs> Quiet's repulse. Uh, okay, this is a healing ability. I don't like that whirlwind's dismay. He's gonna be a lot better when he, he gets his ultimate attack. <laughs> Boy, did he do not like Cowboy! Get the look pajama kick. Hits three times. Is this game alive? It, it lives. It lives alive. Yes, just spam the AOE. We love it when you spam the AOE. Yet. Heavenly Peaks Descent isn't even his best move. Shoot good. Yeah, who's next? Man, who's Masaru is growing like crazy. Finally, I'm going to change that formation. Tank in the front. Or at least front adjacent. It's whatever he gets at 15. A pair of mermaid tights! Protects the wearer from the perils of water. Tile absorption water. Gives more speed and special attack. I'll take it. We need to do these battles to level up. Oh, I think I remember Ishtar being a pain in the butt. It's weak to Aloha Slap. Hell yeah! Also, what element is Whirlwind's Dismay? It doesn't look like it's any element. But it gets back. It is, but it's worth the EXP. Well, I disabled the, the snake lady's feet. I disabled snake lady's feet. Of course, the cowboy gets the fish tights. Huh? That joke's on you, I'm resistant to that. This fight might take a little while, but I think we can do it. If, as long as we don't miss. Damn it. Oh no, I've been seized. Disable her arms, please. No, you can't disable feet on them. A robot's broken. This is an AoE heal. I'm gonna save that. I don't want to sacrifice my own HP. Hey. Yes, you can revive a robot by, um, you know, doing that. Joke's on you, I ate an entire container of protein powder and now I'm stronger than Sephiroth. Why you interrupt? I should use that robot part that's on, uh, on Clank. Also focus, damn it. Man, these multi-attacks are kind of wimpy starting out. <laughs> Mobius mistake. We've made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Shut. 
Good job, Masara. Ain't dead yet. I refuse to die, except in my, uh... At that place. Yeah, that place. You know the place. <laughs> Try to paralyze her. Every attack will hit. Yeah, that... MC Escher's domain. Um, leaving. We're leaving now. I'm not messing with MC Escher. Ah, nice helm. Resistant to ice and water. Um, you're wearing a porcelain ball on your head. Wear something decent. Okay, don't fight her yet. She said, I'm going up the stairs, I'm going down the stairs, I'm going up the stairs, I'm going down the stairs, I'm going up the sideways stairs. And we just couldn't handle that. Bad family guy joke. Bird can't chew. What are you trying to do there, bird? Bird, you're being silly. Why are you up there, Masaru? He wanted to pet the bird. He thought it would be a chocobo because it was a square soft game. He made mistakes. You know, I shoot bird from here and it goes through caveman. Oh, did he just fart on me? God damn it! I'm going to show the cavemen how to wrestle. That's the Bing Bang Boom attack, huh? Petting chocobos usually ends badly. Oh, yeah! Q blows Sun down a kiss, and his paralysis is cured. Is, is that what happened there? He has a love bot setting? Family Guy conquered YouTube shorts. I still love that Mario is in WrestleQuest. Oh, Captain Lou Albano! Shoot your gun from side to side! Hey, that was that was effective. Okay, they, they dropped some kind of chest armor, and I didn't notice what it was right away. It might be an accessory. Wild heart armor. Oh, it's caveman armor. Here, wear some caveman armor. Does he do the Mario? Please tell me he does. Not really. I think Nintendo would come after him if he did that. Demon blood armor. This is a big physical attack upgrade. I think that should go on him. Uh, maybe not. His physical attack doesn't go any higher. His physical attack goes up. And he has no point of using physical attacks. That's like an Oonga Boonga armor there. Physical attack is maxed because of his weapon. Ah. Boo, caps. How dare you bring the Nekomata? At least I could fight them. At least that's in the cards. It looks like I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of farming to get this this team up in between streams. I mean, I did get to do one dungeon today, but I don't know if this team is powerful enough to take on the Kung Fu dungeon. 
Maybe, maybe the Clank Dungeon, the Robot Dungeon, is next. Stats max is 150, max HP is 999. A golden top knot! Okay, so why is there a reason why I shouldn't equip this? Enhances attributes when equipped to the head. Why shouldn't I use the golden top knot? Because you need it for the caveman dungeon. Oh, okay. I might try to go get caveman again, just so I have the cola bottle. And then I just pick up Masaru again real quick. Because the cola bottle's really gonna help with this. I mean, we got a few more levels now. We have more shoot to do. We got more shoot option. Can Aloha slap bit hit bigger? Kinda. You give it as an offering to the super boss. Hell yeah! Well, that's Masaru showing off his uh his cool new abilities, his physical power, his 150 cap. A Mazer Cannon on a bird? What? That doesn't make any sense! I'm gonna capture all three of them in it. Punch shot is diagonal and... He's kind of trapped in this corner. You'll be fine, Masaru. It's just a love bite. It's just a bird laser. All birds have lasers. You know this from school. Bird is weak to gun. Interesting. Don't be taking notes over there. Punch shot, go. Cool. So yeah, we got we got birds with laser technology in this cave. What are they planning to do with that laser technology? I still use Taro's fist. Empty, huh? Man, that kind of cheapens the deal. Another amethyst shield that I don't think anybody can use. You can't. You got tiger glove. You got parasite sword. Which is also helping cap him out. Yeah, nobody here could use that shield. I wonder how many more chests there are. I'm not gonna fight those. If it was caveman and bird, that's good EXP, but the Nekomadas are kind of starting to drop off a little bit. Love of the Goddess! Love of the Goddess is special attack and defense. It's better than the Tiger Glove. Uh, for the time being, we'll put Tiger Glove on Cowboy. A pair of Charioteer's boots. Doesn't even increase speed. No, I wanted the Qu Quelan boots. Reinforced leather boots commonly worn by chariot drivers. Ah, the peasant class. It'll help the robot out. Oh wait, not charioteers is um uh, I was thinking about the guys that drive the the things in the the, the, the books. The, the the books in London. The, the Victorian times. 
that chariot. Why does bird chew? Don't chew, bird. You know what I'm talking about. Huh, robot tastes funny. Like, you really should have countered with Firewall. Why'd you do that? Fine, I'll shoot the bird. With something. I'm shooting that bird with something. Stage coaches are in chariots. Who says? Show me the science! Hey, quit it. Stop breaking our robot. I want to suplex him so bad. Why do they get the level 16 caveman attack? You're mine. Gotcha. Your arm privileges have been denied. Please turn in your arms immediately. You'll be assigned a new limb in the meantime, but you cannot have arms anymore. What will you choose? Why empty chest? That, that's just rude. Cube and Masaru could equip the Amethyst Shield. Main hand, maybe? No. Oh, yeah, they can. It's just that I like the speed. I forgot what I picked up. It didn't look like anything amazing. We could use the golden top knot as an accessory. In the meantime. It's not demon blood armor. I was reading chat and I didn't pay attention to what I picked up. Why are you wearing a walk on your head? That's just walkie. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Holy water. Oh. That's why I can't find it. Bear and bud. The bear and bird and Masaru is stuck on this top part. Everybody's in his way. This guy's weak to the Frankensteiner. <laughs> Time for them to shoot more lasers. I was about to say, is that bear going to do a very silly spin? And just kill everybody? At least this attack should be wind elemental, but it's not even that. I gotta get Robot out of, like, the center. Surrounded by bird with laser beams attached to their heads, apparently. That icon means no element. Sorry. But it doesn't make sense why it's called Whirlwind if it's non-elemental. They're chewing on the cowboy. I didn't even pay attention to what the name of this bird is. The Lightbringer! Your name is Jerry. I have, you have been abused, sir. There it is. It's gonna be nice when I get to the Kung Fu uh, dungeon and get his upgrade. He is the Lightbringer. Yeah. Well, that's Who's the next? that's Who's that's next? the trick. All birds are a Lightbringer.
Also, we got a tail feather from a bird of paradise, which these are clearly not. Oh, I just shot someone. Oh, God. I, I really should keep my finger off the trigger. That is not proper gun discipline I'm expo exploiting here. Ah, an occult pendant. Perfect for me. Even though I think he needs he needs the special attack. He needs the special attack because his uh, special attacks have been wimpy. Target practice. Well, that was the wrestler dungeon. We looted it. I want to try Unga Bunga again now that we're proper. We we're properly higher leveled. We learned how to shoot three times and shoot in an area. That should be enough to defeat. I don't want to fight this team again. No. I need to be starting to rack up fleas anyway. If I intend on doing that one boss. I think it starts warning you when you're at 90 runaways that, hey, something's coming for you soon. You can still keep the panda charm on you. Also, this jerk again. I can't wait to kill that jerk. Panda charm is better speed. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of should. Let's try this again. Oh, I'll just save right here. Oh, right. This is going to happen again. Huh, I wonder where the Ungabunga went. Man, it's hard to find this Ungabunga. I'm saying you have five accessory slots. Yeah, but not a lot of accessories. So why would he need more physical defense if he's going to just stay away? How nice of the Unga to put his, his Unga-ness right in my face like that. Okay, stay away from his jump. Noted. Wow, that's still kind of lousy. And this is still going to take a while, isn't it? Oh my god, Sundown. It's one caveman! Just shoot him! Yeah, let's put it- let's just put the ground on fire. Anything to hurt him more. Anything else we got in here? Poison and stun enemies. They would be nice. Of course we don't get the poison or the stun. We're out of things to throw at him. But he's at, like, at least he's at half health now. Oh, I thought he was going to do the jump again. That's why I moved. Why do you yell so much, Unga? You almost got him. Okay, what's he doing now? At odd angles, this is the only thing I can do to Unga. I mean, if the bullets hit, it's damage. If the bullets hit. 
Kunga defeated! Now we got Cola Bottle, we got a level 16 tank. Masaru has his ultimate weapon, so he could he could sit out for a little bit. Did he just do what I think he just did? Oh god! He really likes getting shot in the groin. If there's any meaning in the man's grunts, it's a mystery. Sure. Yeah. Masaru, you could go train for a little bit. Goodbye. Fine by me. I work better on my own. Be seeing you. You don't have to be passive aggressive about it, and I can only have a four man team. Seriously, chill out. <laughs> we got caveman. Um, we could do, go do the caveman dungeon. In case you forgot how caveman works. Dudes, what did I miss? Didn't everybody die in the last episode or something? <gasps> no, that was in the best timeline. We got Unga Bunga. He has all of his stuff. Including his cola bottle. And his Rock of Rocks, and the Fang of the King for physical attackers, which he really should be using. Because he is a physical attacker. He's also, I believe, the best tank, except for maybe Samo Haka. I think he's a little bit better. And we got a Thump Drum for special attackers. Now we got plenty of accessories. Pretty flowers defense. Um, any caveman gear he could wear? I don't think so. His bang glove. Thump drum. You give the rock the rock rock of rocks for Yoon for a huge IQ boost. Good idea. I think unicorn horn is only ten. Well, he's capped out on special attack now. Which means the rest of it could go to him. Yeah, he could use more defense. Pretty flower. And of course, none of that matters, because I'm going to be using Cola Bottle every chance I get. <laughs> Screw this game's enemies! I hate them the most! I'm gonna go to Caveman Dungeon. Up in the mountains. Unequipped a thump drum because I think Rock of Rocks already maxes it. Too late, we're in a fight. Robot is now officially the fastest member of our team. If we get Ninten, we could give the robot parts that he had on his turtle friend and give them to uh give them the crank. Or clank, I mean. That's some shitty singing. Therefore, he dies. Arousal, what? Aye! Aye! Oh, I, I see that look in his eye. This guy better start running. Why is Gao getting... Is he level 15 and not 16? You could go beyond level 16? Look, their ability is called Arousal, and we know what Gao is popular for. You could do that in OG, I think. Oh, they stop learning abilities after level 16, right? dog is back. Yeah, you have, like, no AoE. This guy has, like, no AoE. He's got Fly Huge Boom. Everything else is just stats. 
When do these things have to be so spread out for? It just makes it annoying to kill. Oh no, his arm is broken. Yeah, if we went, if we intend on fighting with a robot, we would need Akira's stuff. Just yell at him. Why not? I'll cut you down to size. That whirlwind attack is starting to get a lot more impressive now, which is good. That's the only like AOE he's got. I need to find out how I get to icy area. Or the caveman dungeon. Oh, there we go. The perspective is weird. Unga. Unga. How about we just shoot it? Oh, there he goes again. Oh, God, it's everywhere. It's a cave goon. The trial of instincts. You smell anything, Unga? No, Gao, don't goon all over the rock. Oh god, what's those things? Kill it. Kill it. That's how you bing bang boom attack. I don't like these faces. That guy's melting. Oh, that, is that... I, I really hope that's not a petrify attack. Okay, good. I got you, fam. No witnesses to this heresy. Go get him, Oonga Boonga! It just broke his legs. He's fine. He's got a third one. I forgot all about these enemies in uh, the SNES version. But it gets Bex. Maybe if his legs are broken, he can't go in everywhere. This is a bad idea. Can't wait till he gets his really good gun attacks. Level 16, he gets the hurricane shot. <laughs> so let me know when I'm getting close to that that super boss, that secret boss. Even though I don't know about our chances of fighting it, we got a level 16 in the party. We got cola bottle. Gonna be near the end of the dungeon. Meat, meat, and meat. There's meat everywhere. Oh no, the Watanabes! They froze to death. Well, at least the sun went with them this time. Okay, you, you're you great at fighting mammoths. You go at it. Yeah, 
It's no Mammoth King, I'll tell you that much. Wind can't hurt caveman, not even bullets can hurt caveman. The mammoth got eviscerated. Finally, this caveman is going to get a weapon upgrade at the end of this dungeon. He's been using the quick spear the entire game. Sorry. No talking about the elephant in the room. What elephant? I just love that attack. It does so much damage. Speaking of so much damage, you, you have irked me now. Where is it? You can die now. Goodbye. Now imagine, everybody in the party can do that. Cola battle, the cola bottle never runs out of cola. It's bottomless. The statue's features are twisted into a terrifying rictus of mute horror. A word or name appears unwritten on his clothing. You attempt to make it out. Watana. The rest the remainder is too worn to read. It's this chapter's Watanabe scene. Of course they were going to have one. Hola, uh, holy product placement. It's just a cola bottle. It's not Coca-Cola. Actually, it's a Pepsi. Can't talk to them without Akira. Well, we're going to have to come back and talk to the Watanabe soon. Shout at dogs! Oh, Maelstrom's Assault. Still nothing new for Cowboy, though, yet. Sweet, I like Pepsi. Yell, caveman! Before the puppies start howling. God damn it! Yeah, the, the robot knows a nuke, too. I don't want to kill the guy until killing all of his puppies. They chose numbers over quality. It's working! Oh no, all my puppies! What have you done?! Are we the baddies? What's that supposed to do? What's how is that supposed to help you, man? Break is pecking back. It didn't work. How did he has no back? He has no spine. This Kong's got a funny face. Robot, at least you tried. <laughs> at least you tried. <laughs> feet of the Moon Rabbit. Ah, oh. oh, feet. Did you know rabbits have no paw pads? Um, the feet of the mythological hare. Four bullets this time. I guess for no better option, we're going to put him on the robot. Unless... Eh, he doesn't need special offense. We're going to give him bunny feet. 
Bunny feet caveman. Another bird of paradise feather. Those are good. I don't know how how often we're going to be avoiding bullet in this chapter. I want more special attack. Make him miss less. Look, he had a 95% chance to hit, but he was programmed with XCOM accuracy. Oh, hey, Glazio Ambulus! Back from La Moana 2. Okay, you're close to the boss. Did I take the right path to the boss? That's probably a better question. He doesn't miss, you just don't see what's actually getting shot. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Four in one! Send four bullets downrange before the enemy even gets to blink. I see you blinking! Speed! Anybody should be using the cola bottle on this team. It should be the robot. That is just... Why do they let us have that? That should be illegal, you know. <laughs> 999 damage on demand. I've never even seen that item use animation with Q. I'm unlocking new things about this game all the time. Now, am I on the correct way to the boss? Why does it fire lizards? Ah. Cola. It's cola. What, did you open a cola bottle and lizards don't fly out of it? What kind of brand are you buying? No, go back. Criticola. Usually when I drink any kind of cola, I do get a critical hit. I don't really drink colas anymore. What do I have here? I have grapefruit soda right here. Is it this guy? I think I remember this guy. I talk to him about things, and then I, I I hit him with a cola bottle a bunch. Do I know you? Have you some business here? Holy crap! A talking fish. Yeah. The golden top knot, then. Let's see it first. Why are you asking for headgear? It's kind of weird. Yes. Yes! Now this is what I craved so long. It's that carp boss from Sekiro. <laughs> Delightful this delight. A tribute true. Hmm? What? You'd still ask more of me? Of me? Try Maelstrom's assault out on this guy to see if it's even good. To bask in my splendiferous splendor, to look on my resplendent golden face. I don't know, I see some orange in there. A peerless honor, this. Yet you persist. You got some iron impurity in there. Yeah. Much to try my patience. Thus, your lives you risk for secret wisdom. Well, yeah. A gambler? <laughs> then let us roll the dice. I just rolled a 21. 
So it's uh, Lordy Iwama's cousin? You know what? I, I, I'm just going to bing bang boom him with the caveman. Just false sense of security before I annihilate him. Big fish. It's fun and games until you lose and die. Wow, he does a lot of damage. So does this thing. I'll show you. I hope that's not your best. Um, it, it kind of actually a little. Let's try that again. I've still got fight in me. Throw more lizards! That sting! They're serious? In that case. Oh, that's better. Okay, it took four uses of the cola bottle, but still. That's such fun in the ages. He was powerful enough to knock our Oonga Boonga down a little bit. <laughs> but hey, level boost. So much for Yoon's move. I'll use it later. We got wildfire now. A stubborn lot you are. Fisher of ornery fish, I got. A reconciliation gift I'll give. Cosmic ring. But not the top knot, no. It is mine to keep. I got I got more cola bottles here. It was offered without let or lean. Thus claimed. You've questions, yes? Then ask them quickly. Ask! At this point, the hints appearing again, Lucretia gives lots of advice. But yeah, like where to find Vincent. And I think she has a materia with her. I don't know. All the cosmic armor set null stone. Perfect. Who is you? Lucretius is my name. A cob of Eld born long before the kingdom rose and fell. You have a cousin in Japan? What is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? I don't know that! And then he's never seen again. With passing centuries, even oaks, tis said, attain divinity in eyes of men. Such fervent supplications I enjoy, but not a soul I've seen for ages now. A quiet, cold, and deep Grips all Lucrece. I got another question. Can you talk any slower? That's just as well. The silence suits me fine. But in the south and east, a distant mound, I sense a presence faint and bitter too. Ah, the cowboy thing. I, I, sh I should do that. I should do that quick. The, the cowboy dungeon. Perhaps? Or something more... unkind? Nah, just the horse. Yo, Lucretius, why do you have the same voice as Shindiro Man or Do- Dr. Living still? What else have you to ask? Actually, his name is... Uh, Living Dead Men. Yeah. You've questions, yes? What does five fingers say to the face? Me. I don't know. Ow! Ask! The trial of instinct was its given name. It's the training on Kabunga. Only they of primal potency, the chosen few, well, could weather dangers dire. He certainly has primal potency, all right. Lucrez is home to many trials, you know. Of power, wisdom, skill, of time and heart. Of keys as well, a curious one that... I don't know what the developers were thinking with that one. 
And also, what's inside the dungeon is a little weird, too. Must I gift you every answer, child? Yes. What satisfaction is there I put to you? A shooing effort in the search? Tis none. All these dungeons have clever names. Then there's keys. Seek you it's just a ninja dungeon for some weird, weird reason. But not before. I'd first <laughs> try this and that. Look it up on the internet. Seriously, I can't do everything for you. Tis in the struggle man finds his glory. Thus, absent purpose, a purposeless wretch. Look, seriously, he could have just said that you didn't even. You, you not only cheated the game, but yourself. You've learned nothing. Good day, sir. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. What else have you to ask? No doubt there's more. Yeah. You've questioned. Oh my! You jest most surely. Or if not, oh dear. I feel like Dungeon of Stealth makes the most sense. Alright, see you later. I'm gonna go find me one of them their strategy guides you keep talking about. At one point, he was known as the Prima Goldfish. Shit, I thought you were going for the Sekiro, Sekiro meme, not Wonka. It was kind of a bit of both, but I didn't remember either of them. And struggle satisfaction nice. Go bench press some trains. No, that's what Masaru is doing right now. A great stone axe. It's also a bone. Oh, good. They added teleporters to get out of the dungeon. Am I missing anything else in here of importance? There we go. Maxed out Oonga Boonga. The line is funny no matter what, but I think it's funnier in the SNES. I, I see. No, I don't think so. I could always come back if if not. I don't need to bring the Oonga Boonga with me to get back into the dungeon, I don't think. So before I end the stream today, I want to do Cowboy Dungeon, since we got Cowboy right here. And this is a pretty solid team. Cowboy Dungeon is quick. And we get to fight a special boss if we lose. Incidentally, you can find Watanabe in the Caveman Dungeon. Um, welcome to the party! Did you have a... Are you okay? That boss might kick your ass. I got... I got cola bottle. I'm ready to get hoisted by my own petard. That, that, that's not the right horse. He's supposed to be pink. Is that my horse? Oh, look! Another mammoth to bash. My favorite. Okay, we got Maelstrom's Assault and Torment's Tempest. Damage high penetrating. Oh, yeah. The caveman would love that. Paralyzed again? We need to find a way to make you not paralyzable. Also, that ability is taking forever to charge. Doink. My spirit is stronger than you think. Well, it's okay. Don't get hit, Five Head. 
I know that's supposed to be forehead, like the Captain P Picard forehead meme. But I, I like to think that that meme is just like... A fun little... Um, like, like a pet name for your friends. Like maybe there's a guy that has like a, a, a receding hairline already when he's like 15 and you call him forehead. And he does really stupid stuff. Like, stop doing stupid stuff, forehead. Ah, my horse went into this cave. That's kind of weird for a horse to do. Move quickly. Move quickly into dungeon. I don't think there's random battles in here. I have Argos. Oh yeah, you have you have like seven or eight bells, and it gets darker and darker. I feel like I'm going the wrong way already. Man, that bell goes fast. We don't summon Nine Head. There's a gun in here. Might as well grab some stuff along the way. I think I'm heading towards the gun. I know it's on the leftish part of the map. I feel like I'm close. getting dark, you're likely to be eaten by a Gru. That's why we got the Gru shooting gun. The 44 Magnum. Most powerful weapon ever made. Six shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Revolver! Man, if we could only just dual wield... You know what? Dual wield gun. This is the fastest I ever seen it grabbed. I kind of remembered this dungeon. Now we should leave with our gun. A length of magic wood. Well, Lugabunga did something with his wood, but uh, I don't think it was any kind of magic I've ever seen. I like to, I like to think that the caveman and the cow uh, the, the caveman and the cowboy made like a friendship after this adventure. He gooned everywhere. That in in a way that's kind of like magic. Magic is kind of like gooning. I mean, like the Beatles once said, "Do you believe in magic?" Uh oh, I think I think it's maximum dark. I think the boss be coming. You know what else is coming? I don't know anything. Make it stop. The caveman likes to go. I. <laughs> A tasty treat. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! And then you have lines like that. Let's eat! Jaggedy Jack! It's, that's really its name. You're gonna call it Jaggedy Jack. He's gooning also. Goodbye. Let's just make ourselves a little safety area. Make them deady dead. I'll show you. I'm 
<laughs> they really do say that, huh? <laughs> well, that hurts. Thanks. This game is brain dead. Once you use the cola bottle, yes, it's kind of brain dead. How about we play with our food a little bit? Sorry. Let's make it fair to the last one. Why do you know all these quotes, Court John Bet? Probably plays the game a lot. <laughs> oh, there he goes, a goon in again. Now you're gonna get it. Wow! Um, yeah, good job. Don't even need the cola bottle for this guy. Squish. And a robot enhancement for Clank. <sighs> Nobody learned any new abilities yet. Cowboy is really close to his maximum level, though. I've played it a couple times, but I never paid attention to the voice lines. There's not a lot of games that I can remember the quotes of, either. But hey, at least we can loot this place at our leisure now. Not max level, but last skill. Yeah, that's what I mean by max level. The last level that actually matters. Yoon's newest move is the hella broken one. Well, we should find ourselves a battle and try it out then. I'm just looking around for more treasure chests to loot. A fertility charm, huh? Speaking of which, um... Cosmic ring... To make you immune to petrify. Yeah, he's immune to... Uh, yeah, there it is, stone. Status immunity, stone, confuse, and wake. Maybe the thump drum could be traded out. Fertility charm? Oh, okay, that's the caveman healing item you can make. I got cosmic glove. Which should go on Masaru, so nobody's gonna use that right now. Thirty is definitely not the max. One of my characters in a first save file is above thirty. Well, that's three dungeons down. We got Wrestler, Caveman, and Cowboy. Also known as America. So next time I do this, I'll probably do the robot, but I want to check out Yoon's newest abilities. He went into a demon-infested dungeon to get a fertility charm. What is this, Albion? We found a Horgon on Ryza. We left it outside our bedroom. Tempest's Torment. It can paralyze, it can lower defenses, damage massive. Probably takes a while to charge it. Shower the enemies in lead with wildfire. Poke. Ah, oh, speaking of which, I didn't give him his uh his his upgrade. Who can you who, who can you hit with this robot? Ah. 
Like, Kung Fu, we're kind of waiting for you here to, to do a thing. D do your do your punch. Punch Fu. Everybody's waiting to see what you will do. Everybody's looking at you. No more. Uh, Duke and... Okay, yeah, that's kind of broken. That's kind of broken. For two robotic enhancements for the robot. Even though we'll be moving him out of the party shortly to bring in Ninten. Caveman... Caveman could go away now. Caveman's done. Six hits and this does as much as Hurricane. No, it took him forever to use the ability. I think Hurricane at least launches faster than that. And besides, Cola Bottle. You know, we got a Cola Bottle. I want to get Masaru back on the team so I can level him up in between streams. So Cowboy will have his ultimate attack. Um, Kung Fu will have his ultimate attack. Masaru will be close, hopefully. We'll pick up Ninja, we'll pick up Ninten. And I think that's the whole team then. It locks us into the true ending by finding everybody out in the world. Hurricane's the best move in the game. I'm saying that just does the same damage. Okay, okay, fair. Look, this cape man is weird. He just keeps on going aye and gooing in everywhere. Yeah. Get back on the team. He had the handy bottle with him, though. Didn't have any whiskey in it. Oh, there he goes again! You see what we mean? He was doing that the entire time. So that's it for the stream today. Couple days, more Final Fantasy VIII. Ew, he gooned on Cube. He was very curious about Cube this whole time. He kept on trying to sniff it. He couldn't understand what it was. Then he jacked into the USB port. We fight demons to get a virility amulet for a group of hidden mages with two spacemen and a weird cat people and unicorn. Well, it is called Unicorn Overlord. The Overlord is a unicorn. So thanks everybody for showing up for Live Alive. We should be able to finish the rest of the, the dungeons, the, the dungeons, next time. And then we can move on to finishing. Just like Gao. Just like Gao. Oh boy. But Final Fantasy VIII is next. Final Fantasy VIII is next this week. And then I have Sunday off, so that's probably going to be the next Live Alive. Next live live will be on Sunday, and then I uh, nothing nothing's gonna happen on the first. Nothing's gonna happen on the first. I'm gonna take a break on the first. Maybe. Water and water and gooning in water water. Okay. Good night. <laughs>